Hey guys, Catamuck here, and welcome back to another one of my custom Lego minifig videos. Uh, so yeah, um, <laughs> as always with these, um, all the characters that I'm going to be showing in this video will be linked in, not linked, will, will be listed in the description, so... If you want to check the description before watching this video to determine if you want to watch it, then uh, just go to the description and you'll be able to see what characters there are. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's get started. Um, this time I don't have any figures that can actually fit into a group uh, of like a certain franchise. They're all kind of different. So, there's that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, first figure we have here is uh, my own version of the Punisher. He's not really supposed to have a likeness to any of the actors who have portrayed him on film or anything. He's just sort of my own custom version. Uh, as you can see, the trench coat is kind of messed up there at the edge. So that's that's a bit of a shame, but other than that, I think it's pretty cool. He's got a few guns here, as the Punisher pretty much always does. He's got that custom hair piece going on. Um, so that is, um, that's neat. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Punisher. Next up, we have another Marvel figure, um, even though it's not fitting into the Punisher franchise. We have the uh, my version of the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming homemade sp uh, Spider-Man suit. Uh, I really liked the design of it, uh, the suit, and I really wanted to do it in Lego, so I did. Um, you can probably tell this piece here is separate. Um, if you pop the head off, you can tell. Um, Stan fell over. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, it's, um, it's a separate piece, so there it is without it. Uh, the hoodie and stuff. This is just a modified uh, hood piece that just sits there. The eyes obviously are a 3D element because I've wanted to do more 3D elements with my figures. Um, so yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And that's it for the homemade Spider-Man suit. Uh, next figure is sort of an addition to my horror movie franchise of figures. Uh, those who've been here for a bit know that I've been making figures from uh, some horror movies and stuff. Uh, so this is one to just add to that collection. Um, this is Jack from The Shining, played by Jack Nicholson. And uh, I really liked The Shining. I thought it was a pretty cool movie. Um, this arm is a little loose, which is kind of unfortunate. But I guess you can sort of get a swinging motion then, like that. Um... So, I wanted to get as much detail as I could in there, so you've got the green and the white and red striped and buttoned up uh, shirt underneath, as well as the um, other part of the shirt and the sort of maroonish jacket over top. So, yeah. There's Jack. Next, we have a couple of video game characters. Uh, this is 2B from... I'm not sure how it's pronounced i think it's n like nair automa i'm not sure how it's pronounced but this is supposed to be model 2b um from that game so there she is um you might not really be able to tell just by looking at it from here but i did do a little modification just a little bit to give her a little bit more of a female curvature you can see it better in the light there 
Um, I didn't need to do that, but I just felt like I should. Uh, Cause she's pretty skinny. Um, see, she's got the bandages and stuff uh, underneath. You can see all that happening. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I think she's pretty cool. Um, but I like the next, and it's also the last figure, just a little bit more than I, uh, like her. Next and last figure is another video game character. This is Venom Snake. Um, here he is from, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. That's what I based it on, the Phantom Pain. So, here he is. And I tried to uh, make sure I got it all uh, as accurate as I could. So I tried to put a lot of detail in there. Um, see, one arm is normal, and then the other arm, he has the robotic prosthetic arm. Um, so uh, there's that. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think it turned out really good um, this particular outfit I'm not sh sure what it's called I forgot what it was called um, but I just decided to go with this because this is what the reference images showed but yeah there he is anyway guys that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below to show me that you did. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure to also hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any new content from the channel. And I'll see you guys later.